first of the month means the start of the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival. It's the biggest tulip festival in the U.S., and it's a critical month for many businesses to make nearly all of their annual income. Camos Lee Stoll is in Mount Vernon this morning with why a good start means even more this year. Take a look at this field of beautiful pink ladies here behind us. It looks like they're getting pretty close to their peak, but then you see those other rows of different colors of tulips and they still have a ways to go. I've been coming up here for 15 years and usually I'm telling you the best color is a bit later in the month, but not this year. The fields around Mount Vernon are showing pink, white and yellow signs of spring. It's breathtaking. The colors are gorgeous. The flowers are beautiful. The backdrop of the mountains. It's awe-inspiring. Winter may have been a bit dry, but the bulbs enjoyed a good growing season. In fact, the annual bloom at Rusengard is a bit ahead of schedule. The rainfall has caught up, at least here in the valley it has. The festival counts for about 90% of Rusengard's annual business. It was one of the first large events to be canceled in the pandemic in 2020. Good weather and great color will help them get back in the black. I'm not sure that we'll ever recover from that missed year, but um, you know we're still here and we're still blooming. To make it even worse, we saw some of the best weather we've had in years in April 2020 when everything had to be shut down. We do have more information on our website at comonews.com slash hot links. Ticket prices and maps for parking. One big question we've seen, can you bring your dogs? There are four farms that are associated with the festival. Two of them do allow you to bring your dogs. Tulip Town, Garden Roslyn, but those dogs have to be on a leash. In Mount Vernon, I'm Lee Stoll. Come on news.